Oh, man, I love it. I love it, bro. I love it, bro. I fucking love it. I fucking love it, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, your whole entire life, your manhood is going to be tested, bro. Your whole entire life, you're going to have so many things that come at you to where you're going to have to literally make a decision to either be a bitch or to be a fucking champion. And it's literally that black and white. I've been getting tested so hard after I posted that video, bro. So hard by life, bro. I swear, bro. I fucking swear. Just the craziest shit has been happening. And I'm not even going to go into it. You know what I'm saying? Because it just, it just is what it is, right? It's not even worth even mentioning. But at the end of the day, bro, it's just like boxing. Life is a fucking fight. And on top of that, bro, you have to remain calm, bro. Anytime that you allow your emotions to drive your fighting or you allow your emotions to drive you as a person, you're not going to be able to function at your highest potential. And that's just the way it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm really learning from life right now to just stay calm, bro. And to just really just not give a fuck. It's not even that deep. It ain't even that serious. You know what I'm saying? This is part two, basically, to the last video, honestly. You know? Because if you can't remain calm, bro, and you can't stay sharp under pressure, bro, you're just going to fold that every single fucking nook and cranny that comes at you, bro. And I really realized, man, that, like, I don't give a fuck about what life is trying to do because I'm a champion. I was a champion before this shitty thing happened to me like yesterday, and I'm going to be a champion after I come out of this situation. So it doesn't even fucking matter. None of this shit fucking matters, dude. It really doesn't. What matters is how you act and how you present yourself as a man. I'm better than this. You know what I'm saying? I'm better than getting angry and punching shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm better than lashing out on people when I know that me yelling at somebody is not going to stop me or help me from doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's, there's no point, right? Like maneuvering through situations is very tough. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, you have to understand that you're never going to stop being tested, bro. Like you're ne like it's literally never going to stop. And that's something you just have to accept about life. Life is never going to be like this. Oh, my bad. That was a bad explanation. Life is never going to be like this. I hit a fucking rock or something. It's never going to be like that. I'm going to be honest, sometimes it actually will be like this, where you're just going straight up, and a lot of the times, it's going to be the exact opposite of that, but majority of the time, life is going to be like this, ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs constantly, and that's just how it's going to be, bro, and you can't let that dictate how you feel about your life, and you can't let that dictate how you feel about yourself, period. And that's what I'm really realizing. Like, all right, I'm going into uncharted territory that I've never been into before because of the situation that I'm in. But fuck it, bro. It's going to figure itself out. I got my family here with me. You know what I'm saying? And I got God on my side, bro. These niggas can't fuck with me, period. And I'm in the right in the situation that I'm in. I'm perfectly in the right. So it has to go my way. I'm the fucking GOAT. When you start to look at life as like a video game or like in in a sense where like you're the hero, you know what I'm saying? The hero always wins in the end. So look at it like that. I am the hero. I'm going to win at the end. I'm going to make it through this. You know what I'm saying? Things are going to work out in my favor. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Shit is just so crazy, bro. It's so crazy because when you're younger, you really think that, like, life is just supposed to be, like, a fantasy fucking land. And it's just so far from the truth. Because that's that's what we were programmed to think. We were programmed to think that your life isn't good if it doesn't seem perfect. When nobody's life is perfect. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you just gotta deal with shit, bro. You just gotta take shit to the chin, bro, as a man. And it fucking sucks, it fucking sucks, bro. It really does. 
it's hard being a fucking man. It's not easy. But at the end of the day, bro, you have a responsibility to be who you're called to be. So it is what it fucking is. I'm just telling myself now, bro, that no matter what happens, do not act out of emotions. Because if you act out of emotions, it's going to go wrong, bro. It's going to go south. Always have to think logically. And at the end of the day, I've been through all, I've always been through fucking worst, even if this is something new to me. And on top of that, it could always be worse. Your situation could always be fucking worse. And that's just the way it is, bro. So you have to count your blessings even when it fucking sucks. I honestly don't even feel like making this video. I felt like ending this video as soon as I started talking. Even beforehand, because I'm pissed right now. I'm, I'm extremely pissed, despite how I look. But you know what's so funny? Is I've been killing it at work. That's the crazy part. Like, everything outside of the situation that I'm in right now is literally going perfect for me. I just moved into my new place. You know what I'm saying? I just got hella nice furniture. Like, everything is falling into place. But then at the same time, I just got into a brand new situation that I don't know how to get out of. So it's like... That's just life, bro. It's just life. It's literally just fucking life. It's never going to be perfect. Ever. So get that shit out of your fucking head. It is never going to be perfect. Life will never be perfect. That is the title of this fucking video. I just figured it out. Six minutes and 38 seconds in. It's never going to be perfect. It's literally not. I'm done seeking perfection in life. Because it's never going to be perfect. I hate that about myself, man. Like, seriously. I try so hard to make things a certain way when it's not even realistic. It's not realistic to have a perfect life. It's not realistic to have a perfect fucking day every single fucking day. So it's like, to sit around and let one thing get into your fucking head is just so stupid, bro. Even though it's so hard in the moment to just, like, not lash out and just, you know what I'm saying, go crazy, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, like I always say, bro, you always have a fucking job to do. You're a fucking man. Man up, bro. You're a fucking man. Handle your shit, bro. Nobody's coming to save you. And that's just the way it fucking is. You can sit around and cry about it like 99.9% .9 of this population and just be a bitch the rest of your life. Or you can get up and make something fucking happen and say life suck my dick. That's what I fucking say every single day. Suck my fucking dick because I'm going to make it happen. And that's just all there is to it, bro. If you don't have a certain arrogance or cockiness to you, bro, you're not going to make it in life, bro. Like, having an ego is the best thing that you could fucking have. I'm telling you this right now. Because I know who the fuck I am. And I'm confident in what my abilities are. Because of the things that I've been through. And that's where I founded my ego in. My ego isn't founded in anything else other than my hard work and my perseverance. That's what I mean by ego. That's what I mean by cockiness. That's what I mean by arrogance. Be arrogant in that. Be cocky in that. You know what I'm saying? There's so much life out here to live, bro. It's not a way to live. It's not, it's like being angry all that time, it's just all the time, and just letting stupid things get to you, bro. It's just, it's not a, it's not a way to live, bro. It's just not. You gotta start minimalizing all the things that you think are just so big in your life, bro. Like, it's just really not that serious, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope this video helps y'all, man. Because even me just speaking right now is actually helping me calm down. I'm going to be honest. Because I'm in some shit right now. And it's fucking irritating as fuck. But it is what it is, bro. I have nobody else to call on, bro. Other than my own fucking perseverance. I got to call on to my own will, bro, because I have to step up to the plate, bro. And that's just the way it is, bro. Step up to the plate. Don't bow down to anyone, bro. Be your own fucking man. Step into your own leadership role. Abide by your own principles. You know what I'm saying? And let's just get to this money, man. For real.